Hello and welcome to Hacks, where I try and simplify cybersecurity. Today we are looking at the realistic missions on hackthissite.org. If you don't know what Hack This Site is, it's a website that allows you to test out your hacking skills. It's a lot of fun and you should give it a go. So, we have already completed the basic missions, feel free to have a look through my channel for those videos, but today we're starting on the realistic missions. We are starting on realistic number one, which is Uncle Arnold's local band review. Your friend has been cheated out of hundreds of dollars, help him make things even again. Now it says I've already completed the challenge, that's fine, I wanted to make sure I knew what I was doing before I actually did it and recorded the video, so let's go over here and take the challenge. The message says, hey man, I need a big favour. Remember that website I showed you before, Uncle Arnold's band review? Well, a long time ago, I made a £500 bet, sorry, $500 bet, with a friend that my band would be at the top of the list by the end of the year. Well, as you already know, two of the, my band members have died in horrendous car accidents. That's awful. But the asshole still insists the bet is on. I know you're good with computers and stuff, so I was wondering if there's any way you could hack into the website and make my band top of the list. My band is Raging Inferno. Thanks a lot, man. Okay, I apologize for the terrible accent, but... So, guy made a bet, silly decision, to get his band at the top of the list. I'm sure his band is excellent, but let's face it. If you don't have the support behind you, you're not going to get to number one. And we've been given a link here, and what we have to do is hack it in order to get the band to number one and his band is called Raging Inferno. This is a self-proclaimed hardcore metal band pretty much does nothing besides covering older Slayer songs and Nintendo game music with the added high-pitched screaming I give these guys an F. Wow that's a terrible rating isn't it? So let's explore the basic functionality of the web application. We can see here that we have different voting options one to five and then you got the vote button. That's about it. Do these links work? So, Raging Inferno. Looks like the domain is registered, but it's in a holding place. Three spins five. Be nice to see if any of these are actually available. Oh, oh, I don't like where this is going. Look at all these redirects. Anyway, we're back to the page. Uh, I'm not going to click anymore because that one looked a bit dodgy, but let's see what happens when we click vote. So we're going to place one vote for the Raging Inferno's and it doesn't really seem to do much it might add to this rating here so let's have a look at the source and see what's actually going on right so if we come down to Raging Inferno's which is this one here you can see how the voting option works each option number five has a value of the corresponding number and the problem with this is is it appears to be client side so normally the way this would be coded is, is you would have an option that would correspond to a uh, value in a script on the server that you couldn't see you shouldn't be able to manipulate these values right here like we're about to do so if we take number five and increase it to 5,000, I beg my pardon, I have to go into this part here, expand the tree, sweet, and then let's go down to Raging Inferno and we have to choose number five because that's the value that we've increased and click vote and what you should see now is that we've completed the challenge and that we've already done it so that's basically it it was using client side values and passing them back to the server which is a really bad idea if the data you are submitting is of any value um, for instance like in basic whether it's three or four where we had to change the email address of sam to our own email address and click the submit button um i've rarely seen this in the wild but as you can see it it has huge implications if you are not if you are using client side values for submitting things 
Anyway, that's all I've got for you for this episode. I hope you liked it. Nice and short and sweet. I hope they get a little bit more complicated, but not too difficult. And I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye. Please hang up and try again.